Awesome. So we're going to start off. Easy question. How do you come up with a movie to steal the iconic movie Pulp Fiction? I'll, I'll give you the abridged version. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure went there's to, a lot yeah. Of uh, when I first moved to LA, I went to Tarantino's New Beverly Cinema. They were having a Pulp Fiction screening, and uh, they made a huge announcement. We're having Tarantino's personal print, and uh, crowd went wild, rolling as if the Rolling Stones were coming on. And and uh, I said to my friend next to me that invited me, like, I wonder if there's security here for this uh, because this is pretty valuable. And um, instead of actually risking the jail time to, to steal it, I decided to make it first into a short film, filmed it right before COVID, and then uh, made it into a feature. And, and here we are. So you started this as a short film and it became a feature length movie. You have a world premiere today. Did you ever expect it? What was that process like? You always dream of, of making a film and uh, you know, you never know if it's going to happen. Independent filmmaking is crazy. and uh, But yeah, making my first feature with, with Jason was, uh, Alexander, was it was, a, you know, something I never, you can't dream of that because you, it's it seems impossible. Uh, but yeah, this is a dream country. I'm premiering here at, at the Lido and, and Newport was, is, is fascinating. So. And you're saying that it was an impossible dream to kind of land someone like Jason Alexander. What's the story there? How'd you get him? <laughs> he, yeah, I mean, he signed on two weeks before we were filming. It was a scramble and, and so there wasn't even time to process working with a, an idol like that. And, you know, I grew up loving Seinfeld. My parents loved Seinfeld and um, still processing it. And he was, you know, a, a mensch and to work with. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. And speaking of Seinfeld, was that part of the process of getting Cassie David in your short and now the feature? Did your love of Seinfeld come into play there? <laughs> yeah, we, we, me and Cassie went to school together at Emerson and we did a lot of sketch comedies together that uh, we'll never see the light of day. But, uh, but yeah, we and then Cassie acted in the short and then we, we she, she was in the feature. So. And of course, Pulp Fiction, iconic movie, classic, cult classic. Is there a scene or a moment from that film that also made its way maybe into your movie? I've never seen Pulp Fiction. <laughs> okay. uh, I mean, a, a lot of it is, you know, I wanted to approach it where, like, if you're covering a song, you know, you're, you're, you're paying homage to it, but you're not doing it totally. It's different enough where people appreciate it. And, but I think the... You know, we, we have a lot of diner scenes, and that was, uh, you know, a big part of Pulp Fiction, and di dialogue, it's pretty much all dialogue, uh, so, yeah. And on that note, obviously, Pulp Fiction has a huge fan base. Like I said, it's kind of a cult classic as well. 30-year anniversary. 30 anniversary yeah. this year. So are there any maybe Easter eggs or nods that the Pulp Fiction fans will maybe point out while they watch this film? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, no but, spoilers. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, the, the, being that it's a 30-year and we're premiering, you know, in this year, and I'm, I'm turning 30 this year, and so it's been a, a crazy... I want to say coincidental, I want to say that we planned it, but uh, no, yeah, I mean, but th there's a ton of Easter eggs that hopefully people will pick up on it, even just, you know, other uh, cinema Easter eggs in general that but hopefully people will see, so. And speaking of, what would you do or what do you hope if Quentin Tarantino watches your film? What do you hope he gets from it or do you think he would react? Do you want him to see it? Maybe you don't want him to see it. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, we would, we would love for him to, to see it and, and uh, Give, give him get his blessing and uh, but yeah I mean the, the film is a is a love letter to, to him so you know getting him to, to see it and and, and, and love it will, will be that's that'll be the biggest treat of all so yeah and what do you hope happens after your film premieres today where do you where do you hope to go next with either stealing pulp fiction or anything else in your directorial career well, hopefully some some someone that watches it tonight will want to make stealing stealing pulp fiction and, <laughs> and, and cast me in it and uh we can maybe film it at the lido uh, recreate what we're doing tonight uh but yeah i'm we're working on a new film aliens and aspen and i have the script and we're going to send it out uh this week so fingers crossed amazing yeah. thank you so much thank you congrats it was nice meeting you